Hey, this is Carl and welcome to another episode of World of Custom Statues. So stay tuned. Hey fellow collectors, hope everybody had a good week. I'm back with a whole new list of custom statues. Like always, if you are interested in the pieces mentioned in the video, hit me up on Facebook with a screenshot of the piece you are interested in. Link in the description below. And if you haven't joined yet, you could join the channel's Facebook group to see more high quality photos of the pieces mentioned in the video. And you could also discuss with the community on the pieces you are interested in or pieces that you are looking for. Group link will be in the description below. So let's start! First is we have a prototype reveal for this Scarlet Spider. Really like how this Scarlet Spider came out. The red really pops. I think this is third in line in their dynamic series of Spider-Mans. They have a classic blue-red version and a symbiote Spider-Man with a quite similar pose. Next, we have some production update with this Apocalypse. This is a different version from the one I have on pre-order because it's painted differently and it's very limited. I think the edition size is just like 10 to 20 pieces. Next, we have a full reveal for this Spider Gwen. Really, really tempted to pre-ordering this one. But I'm sort of cooling down on my pre-orders. There's just too much follow-up payments recently. I had like five, I think, follow-up payments from October and then a few more on December. And hopefully less in December. But it, this is easily the best Spider-Gwen around. Next, we have some teasers for this upcoming Superman. This group also just shipped probably the best Frank Miller Batman. And this group also delivers superb paint application. Since that Frank Miller Batman kinda looks like it's painted by a professional. Next, we have a full reveal for this symbiote Spider-Man. Looks pretty good. I actually have I actually have their Scarlet Spider-Man on pre-order. They are doing Spider-Mans on a similar pose since the Spider-Gwen also came from this group. I'm glad I got the Sideshow one on pre-order, the Symbiote Spider-Man. Or else I'd be pre-ordering this one. Next, we have a full reveal for the prototype of this Nightcrawler, and this came out pretty, pretty good. And I think there's a few slots left available for this piece if you're interested. Next, we have some teasers for this upcoming Black Panther. Full reveal and pre-order won't be shown and open until 2022. Next, we have a full reveal on the prototype of this Blade on Throne. I must say this really came out pretty good. Definitely better than I expected. Good news is there's still some slots left available if you want to pre-order.
Next, we have more teasers for this Bruce Wayne statue. I think full reveal will be very soon, as well as the pre-order. Next, we have a full reveal for the prototype of this Deadpool and Spider-Man diorama. This diorama is actually called the Detention. The prototype really looks like the render is pretty amazing. Glad this diorama got made and it wasn't cancelled due to lack of pre-orders. And I think there's still some slots available. Next is a piece or line that I don't usually share in my videos or in the channel and it's this leech statue from a Masters of the Universe line from a certain studio. Like I said, I don't really share stuff from the line because I have no clue about them or the line. The piece got some negative feedbacks uh, recently and I think it might not be at par with the usual Marvel and DC scopes that we are accustomed to seeing weekly in these videos. But it did stay true to what he looked like in the TV show back then. And it greatly pairs with PCS filmation line of the show. Statue like this surely will cost the commissioner some money because not a lot of people will pre-order it and making the production costs for this piece more costly and sometimes commissioners swallow those expenses just to produce rare stuff like this and he isn't even selling this that much actually so kudos to the commissioner for still continuing the project at a loss and hopefully that he doesn't get discouraged easily by future negative feedbacks Next, we have a work in progress on the sculpt of this Princess Leia, and I think Luke Skywalker will be in this piece as well. Next, this very, very sexy Wonder Woman just got printed. This is a museum type statue, and I think there's still some slots left available. Before we continue with the weekly custom statues, if you aren't subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel so you get notified with new upcoming custom statues and other related statue videos that I make. And if you do enjoy the content that I make, maybe you'd be interested in supporting the channel via subscribing to the channel's Patreon page or simply donating via PayPal. Both links will be in the description below. And thanks in advance. So let's continue. Next, an army of Oscar Awards trophy are coming. Kidding. This is the Bowen inspired Silver Surfer. And I'm very excited on seeing the prototype of this surfer. Although I didn't have this on pre-order. Next, we have some colored renders for this man spider diorama. Definitely going to be a very massive diorama. Next, we have an update on the prototype of this classic Venom. It's now less glossy. And kudos to the commissioner for valuing the feedbacks from his community. And you actually get to choose which color of saliva you want for your statue. Next, we have more teasers for this Doomon Bear. 
and this is a different version from the one I've shared in previous episodes because there's actually two Doom on Bear coming. And this one is set to open pre-order on late November to maybe early December. Next, this white shadow just got printed and soon we'll be seeing the prototype painted. Next, this Thomas Wayne Batman is ready to ship, but short payment plans are still available, and you can hit me up on Facebook to know more information. Next pre-order is open for this Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Next pre-order is open for this Del Otto inspired Spider-Man, but it also comes with different portraits from different well-known artists. And there's also a symbiote version available, which will be inspired from Del Otto as well. Plus, if you get these two statues on pre-order, you will receive a pretty big discount. Lastly is we have some work in progress on the sculpt of this 1 and 30th scale Gundam Wings Perfect Grape. Sorry if I didn't get that right because I have no clue about this statue or any Gundam stuff for that matter. But it's the very first time I've seen a Gundam statue and this one definitely looks promising. So that's it for this week's episode, hope you guys found something you like and if you do, you can send me a message through Facebook with a screenshot of the piece you are referring to, link will be in the description below. And join our Facebook group if you wanna discuss some custom pieces with the Unboxing Bros community. Facebook group link will be in the description below as well. Thanks for watching and see you again next week, subscribe to the channel for more content like this.